You suspect your partner might be cheating on you, but how do you know exactly? Well, it's time to catch her red-handed. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you improve your sex life. Now, being cheated on absolutely sucks. No guy enjoys that feeling of heartbreak, that feeling of betrayal. And in my opinion, it's far better to nip this kind of scenario in the bud early, to preempt it, to see it coming, to uh, look out for certain warning signs that your girl might potentially, not necessarily, but these are some warning signs that she might potentially cheat on you before it actually does. So you can at least break off uh, this relationship, this engagement with her in advance before you get your heart broken. Now these signs to look out for are in no particular order. They're just a few subtle and not so subtle behaviors that you can look for. Now, one single one of these doesn't necessarily mean she's cheating on you, but all of them would probably be a very strong indicator that you're getting screwed over. So take these with in the context of the relationship. You obviously know your partner better than I do. So it's important that you don't look at these rules as absolute be all and end all and, and kind of be autistic about this sort of stuff. Take them as, like I said, warning signs. So the first warning sign is, does she put her phone down, face down or screen up? This is a subtle one, but if you were trying to hide text messages from somebody else, you don't, if you didn't want somebody else to accidentally see a text message popping up on the screen, well, you're probably gonna put it screen down. If you have nothing to hide and you don't really give a shit, well, then you're probably gonna leave it screen up. It's not a conscious thing either. This is probably, for the most part, a completely subconscious behavior from any woman. So that is something that I'm always looking out for when I'm vetting a woman. From If I want to take a woman seriously or I'm considering taking a particular woman more seriously, I'm looking out for some subtle signs like this. The second one is, will she hand you her unlocked phone? So, and you can kind of test for this in a, in a uh, you know, in a innocent way. Let's say, oh, you know, you were ordering some Uber Eats or something like that. Like, obviously don't do this to be a complete tight ass. You've, uh, you know, let's say you've, you've, you've picked up the bill a few times or whatever. You can just say something like, hey baby, my Uber Eats is screwing around right now. Can I just order, can I order our food on your phone? I'll pay you, I've, I've got the cash in my wallet, I'll pay you back. Simple as that, right? You've negated the fact that you're, you know, you're not any potential of being seen as a tight ass. But will she hand you her unlocked phone so you can go through the Uber Eats app and order some food. That is a big test of trust because if she's fucking around on you, she ain't gonna want you to have access to her phone, again, with the potential of a message popping up and uh, giving the game away. When she texts and is sending text messages, you know, while she's around you, is she doing it with the back of the phone facing you or is she kind of doing it more like, like this with a, with a with the screen easily readable if you happen to be sitting next to her, right? If she deliberately moves the back of the screen to face you whenever she's texting, that is not a good sign. If you're in a more serious, long-term committed relationship, here's a pretty big one. Will she give you the password and access to her Instagram account? I know plenty of dudes who have their girl's Instagram account on their phone. They can go in and see if she's messaging anyone. If anyone sends DMs to her, he can see it. It's totally open and totally transparent. Now, you don't have to reciprocate that, by the way. That is not some, it's not some negotiation that you have to even contemplate or even consider. Dear God. No, this is a one-way thing. It's a one-way test of loyalty. Because a, a man's test of loyalty is does he provide and protect her? A woman's test of loyalty is does she fuck around? or is she sexually exclusive to me? 
two totally different scenarios. So you do, you do not have to reciprocate this. You do not have to give her access to your Instagram. But will she give you access to hers? Super, super useful test if you're in a more long-term committed relationship. Does she ever accuse you of being uh, overprotective or acting jealous? If she starts throwing out accusations like this, when you start, you know, maybe uh, setting and enforcing more boundaries on her, if she starts throwing out these kind of shaming tactics, like you're being overprotective or you're acting jealous, well, that's a pretty good indication of what that, that translation is, I'm fucking around on you and I don't want you to find out. So I'm gonna shame you into thinking that even investigating this is, is a negative thing. That's the translation there. Are her girlfriends and the women she hangs around with complete and total sluts and just trash women? If they are, then it's probably a good indication that she's eventually going to succumb to the same kind of behavior. Like women are very social creatures, women will mimic each other's behavior They'll, and more importantly if she's surrounded by a bunch of women who are complete sluts and trash hoes well there's no shaming there's no accountability for her if she has if she behaves like a piece of shit like they're gonna in fact they're gonna encourage her if her friends are complete sluts they're probably gonna be encouraging her to fuck around and be and cheat on you completely guilt free so the kind of women that your woman hangs around with is super, super important. Now, there's one very, very easy way to keep a woman loyal and to keep a woman coming back for more, and that is by being the best sex she's ever had. If you can give her something she can't get anywhere else, if you can get her addicted to your dick, well, it's very, very unlikely that she is going to be cheating around on you. If you'd like to learn some strategies, tips, and techniques for doing that, then check out my video course right here. Another sign to look out for, and this is more of a preemptive sign, if anything, is does she have a religious background? If she comes from a religious background of some kind, then that's usually a pretty good indicator that she's going to feel some, some kind of guilt or shame around cheating, and she's going to What's the word I'm looking for? She's going to regulate her hypergamy somewhat. The religious framework is going to regulate that for her. Same goes for, does she have a strong father figure? What is her relationship like with her father? Does she respect her father? If she does, again, that is actually a very positive sign. The converse of that, the opposite of that, however, is a negative sign. It's a warning sign to watch out for. Does she go on any kind of girls' nights out? Uh, at all or regularly. In my opinion, these are, this is a completely terrible sign for any woman I want to take seriously. It's okay, it's, it's, this is like, if, they, if it's two women going out for dinner, okay, that isn't a girl's night out. A girl's night out is where all of us are going to the club together, or all of us are going to Vegas together for the weekend. These kind of things are girls' nights out. If, if you don't understand, the, the, there's a difference there, right? Going out for brunch, isn't a girl's night at night out. Going out, dressing up slutty and hitting clubs where there's gonna be a bunch of dudes hanging around hitting on them, that's a girl's night out. So if this is a regular occurrence of hers, that is not a good sign, my friend. Does she dress better, sexier, for nights out with other people than nights out with just you? I personally think that this is a very strong indicator she should be if she is actually my girl she should be looking her sexiest around me and for me exclusively like does she wear sexy lingerie and stuff for me when she comes around right rather than if we go out with friends is that when she's dressed up her best these are important things to notice and it's also important and, and kind of not important but useful a useful tool you can have is if you have some kind of like period tracking app if you know when her period is and you can track that kind of stuff women are like at their horniest prior to uh, ovulation so you can find if you know when that period is and you can observe if she, when she's at her horniest right is she coming to me for sex or are some of these behaviors starting to manifest during that period? Like, is she go, if she, does she want to go on a girl's night out on around this, this period when she's at her peak horniness? That is something you can easily look out for if you are able to track your partner's period. 
And a less subtle sign, but unfortunately one that guys still seem to miss all the time is, does she post like thirst traps on her Instagram, on her, on her Instagram stories, on her timeline? Is her ass and titties all over her timeline or in her Instagram stories? constantly like seeking the validation and attention of other men. Basically, is she advertising herself as being single, right? Versus putting you, if she, is she tagging you in her stories and on her, on her timeline and her feed? You don't have to tag her. You do not have to reciprocate this behavior. But if, she, if she's claiming you on her Instagram, or it's, it's basically putting up a sign that says, I'm not for sale, right? It's basically putting up this big sign which says, I am taken, gentlemen. Versus doing the opposite of that, uh, you know, flaunting her body, posting thirst traps all over her IG and all over her socials, well, that's sending the complete opposite signal. Now, if you've decided to dump her after you've seen some of these red flags and you're a single guy again, then I highly suggest you check out some of these practical dating tips for single guys right here.